96.1 KZL, that's the very latest from David Byrne, Everybody's Coming to My House. And, of course, he is going to play at the Holt Center on May 28th. We'll have more tickets to give away as the show gets closer. And if you want to go and don't want to wait for a chance to win, hurry and buy because they are going fast. There's like 100 tickets left, I think. And the last time he was in town, put on a great show. David Byrne, part of the KZL 2018 concert scene. As I had mentioned, John Boy and I uh, want to bring on a very nice uh, gentleman by the name of Gene Constant, and uh, we just want to take a brief moment to talk about the story of his amazing dog. We just finished the KZL Pet of the Week, and uh, Gene and his family owned a big Newfoundland named Pie Face, and we just wanted to talk about Pie Face for a quick second and uh, his book, and a memorial service that is coming up for Pie Face, who recently passed. Gene, welcome to the show, and tell us just a few things about Pie Face, how you got him, what kind of a dog he was, and a little bit about his story. Okay. Well, well thank you for having me on your show, Mark. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Pie Face, uh, I would say, was a normal Newfoundland. Uh, we adopted him at 10 weeks old uh, from a breeder in uh, Mich- uh, Missouri. Um, and what we discovered right away, I mean, the very first day we, we had him, is that he insisted on not being alone. Uh, we made a, a big space for him on a porch so that he would sleep there thinking dogs should be outside. And uh, he made certain by scratching on the glass and the like that uh, that was not an option. <laughs> and, uh, and with the little uh, puppy noises there, uh, he kept us awake and busy, and he just refused to stop making that racket. <laughs> until he was brought inside. So, uh, um, and then shortly after that, as he continued to grow, they grow very fast. Um, and, and in just weeks, uh, it, it was like doubled in weight. Wow. And they decided that that little bed that we bought for him, which I thought was a very you know nice puppy bed over at PetSmart, uh, he wanted us to know that it was inadequate. And uh, we woke up one day and he had just chewed it in little pieces. <laughs> oh, boy. Which is a saying, it's a testimony to big dogs like that and how strong the jaws are. Because yeah, really? <laughs> that was uh, uh, fabric and foam, and, and uh, he spared no part of it. <laughs> uh, Sounds like a real grew- character. Uh, well, he was. He, he, he insisted that he was a part of the family. And if, if those people have ever watched Star Trek and seen Data who wanted to be human, uh, Pie Face uh, had the same goal. Oh, wow. uh, he and he insisted on sleeping and being a part of us immediately. Uh, and, and that has been his personality uh, for the, uh, the nine years that we had him. You, um, he, he was known by many, I guess, at your apartment complex. Is that right? Well, uh, that's interesting because it, my storybook about Pie Face, which uh, we sell on Amazon, is that um, he wore this little bell, which I have, and uh, I'll share it with your listeners. He, this is what he wore. And there's about 200 apartments here at Parkside. And uh, he, he was he was never really interested in people. He was interested in his adopted parents, uh, but not so much others, or even so much other dogs. We take him to the dog park. Uh, when he walked around here, uh, I call it a transition, because he became very interested in people. And uh, this big Newfoundland, as big as a person, 130 pounds, wow. uh, would walk up to everybody and, and just gaze up at them. Uh, and he, he has a puppy look about him, even though he's you know, six and seven years old. We were here for three years with him. Uh, he would walk up and look at you. And if you touched him, then he would touch you and you would get a big wet nose somewhere. Uh. <laughs> And, and I love that, that bell. Yeah, well, and he, he walked up to everybody. Uh, and if you, you were afraid of big dogs and, and didn't like it, then he'd move on. Uh, but if you showed an interest, and you, if you, he would be more interested in you if you had food, because uh, he was a foodie. So if there were two people standing there and one had a treat, uh, you were second class for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like me. But, yeah. <laughs> sounds like a sweet, sweet dog. And you guys are planning a memorial and kind of a fundraiser this Saturday. Yes, uh, a fundraiser uh, is uh, scheduled for Saturday at the uh, Parkside Apartment Clubhouse uh, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, to to uh, in his and in his memory, 
the fundraiser is for the Green Hill Humane Society and the First Avenue Shelter. That is terrific, and I know that, suspect it'll be well attended. Sounds like he touched a lot of lives. Well, he did. Uh, children and dogs would come to the window, and whether they're on the second floor or the main floor, as he walked by, and uh, they would want to come outside, and those that couldn't go outside, the little kids, because Newfoundlands are, are um, uh, nanny dogs. Yeah. Uh, which, which you fit in here perfectly, uh, and the kids loved him, and by his nature... Uh, he loves children. So they would, if they couldn't get outside, they would wave at him and call at him. And uh, he would go around the complex or even out to the nearby park where people, we even had a cop pull over. And I thought, you know, what did we do? I picked up his uh, stuff when he went potty outside. A cop came over and insisted on knowing about Pie Face. <laughs> so we didn't get arrested <laughs> or ticketed. Uh, he, he just, Pie Face found another person that, that, um, uh, uh, wanted to be a part of him. Yeah, that is so cool. And what a what a great dog <laughs> story. And uh, hours ten to four this Saturday. Parkside Apartments is everybody welcome? Oh, oh absolutely. Uh, snacks will be provided, and vendors will be on hand to answer questions about pet care. One hundred percent of the proceeds will go to the shelters. And on our book, uh, we will have a few copies available. And they are on Amazon, of course. And we'll get 10% of our book sales Saturday, whether they're online or at the, at the uh, memorial, uh, to the Green Hill Humane Society. What's the name of the book? It's called uh, Pie Face, a love story about a Newfoundland in Oregon. Nice. Well, I didn't know him. I'm sorry I didn't, but I love him anyway. And I love the fact that he had uh, you and your family as just terrific parents to uh, give Pie Face a, a, sounds like a, just a fantastic life. So good job, Gene. Uh, well, thank you, Mark. And, and I do thank you, you and your uh, for allowing me to be here today. Absolutely our pleasure. All our best, and uh, we'll uh, hope for a ton raised uh, through Pie <laughs> Face. And uh, thank you for sharing the story. We appreciate that. Thank you, too, sir. Take care now. All right. Take care. Again, the uh, the memorial and uh, a fundraiser coming up Saturday the 10th here, Parkside Apartments, uh, 4075 Aerial Way in Eugene, 10 to 4. And if you need more information, 541-689-0868. Pie Face. What a cool-sounding dog. Yeah. You got Mark and John here as we continue on this Wednesday morning with Van Halen and 96.1 KZL.